It's easy to flap your lips about running a dealership like most consultants do. Find out why you should tell your consultant to hit the road. For what I do as a trainer, I think there are far too many consultants in this area. I think every single person that has read uh, Automotive Digest for several years or Dealer Refresh or Automotive Digital Marketing or Driving Sales, where we're currently at, people read and read and read and they're like, yes, I like it, I like it. Maybe I'm not doing it here at the retail operation I'm at, but I'm gonna get out of this and I'm gonna become a consultant because I can regurgitate everybody else's stuff. And I think there's far too many consultants because I don't think dealers, I think dealers are slowly catching up as to what needs to be done. I don't think they need people to come in and tell them that what needs to be done. I think it takes a trainer or an educator to show them what needs to be done. Uh, I know there are some of my main competitors who say, you don't need a trainer, you need a consultant. No, because a consultant will just tell you things. Uh, what I want to do is I want to say, look over my shoulder, I'm going to fix this myself, and I'm going to train your people how to be a little more better at what they do. Because people need training, and people need education, and I think education and training definitely go one and the same. Because you can give somebody, edu you can give somebody the education, and you can tell them that you know, the average response time across the board on a 24-hour clock for dealers is still over four hours. Same as it's been a couple years ago. So you can give them that, but what they don't understand is, okay, I have that information, I have that education, so I know it's a problem for us. Now, taking that information, train my people to not make it four hours, train my people to make it one. You know, so I still think people, dealers need a trainer, uh, such as myself or others, that can come in and say, you know, uh, here is how to, here's the how, not the why to do your job or the why, what needs to be done, but here's the how to do it. And that's where I think uh, we step in. And I think that's what, you know, there's a fine line between educators and trainers, uh, but I think there probably aren't enough good trainers out there.